Hello guys, it's the Caribbean Bookworm and in this video I'm going to be filling you up on some ideas that I have in regards to this channel from the middle of this year on to the basically end of this year. So let's jump into it. Welcome again to my channel guys, it's the Caribbean Bookworm. If you're new here, I make bookish content, um, mainly horror novels, some thrillers, and occasionally something outside of those genres like science fiction, historical fiction, etc. So if you're curious on seeing bookish videos and bookish content, and occasionally some science-y types of videos as well, feel free to subscribe um, on this channel and click um, the bell notification so that every time that I upload a new video, you can get notified to see what I have to offer you in the upcoming videos. So without further ado, let's get into it. In this video, basically, I wanted to um, give a TBR pile list um, that I have for, um, you could say, similarly as I did for last year, like mid-2021 TBR. I want to make something similar um, for this year, mid-2022 TBR, you could say. Um, but but um, the only difference being in contrast to last year, last year, I think I only had about four books in my TBR pile. Well, this year, I actually have a lot more to add to that TBR. And it might seem a bit daunting. I might not even be able to read all of it. But the reason being that I want to prioritize my time for reading a little bit more. And I want to create the space and time, um, pun very much intended, um, in order to actually get some more reading done. As I looked, I took a look at my Goodreads and I thought, hmm, I actually want to get some more things done. And I know um, that it is possible to prioritize reading to some degree. All of what I wanted to say with that ramble is that basically I want to read a little bit more, hence why my TBR this year is going to be a little bit um, larger and even a little bit more diverse than my usual TBR. So let's get into it. So the first three books that I have on this TBR are the books which are more horror or thriller-like, which is basically my cup of tea. And we're going to start with Stephen King's Salem's Lot. I really want to read Salem's Lot just because I want to continue on with the Dark Tower series. And Salem's Lot is a very crucial element of going on further with the Dark Tower series. Um, if you're new to this channel, basically, I want to basically finish the Dark Tower series while reading all of the tie-in novels and short story collections. And Salem's Lot is a very crucial one from some from what I heard. So I'm definitely I'm going to read this um, this year in order to continue onwards with my journey towards the tower. Secondly, I have an Akata Christine book and I've heard a lot about this author um, before um, going to the bookstore and seeing this author's name. I didn't know much about Agatha Christine, but when I looked at her bibliography, she really piqued my interest and especially this short story collection called The Last Seance, um, Tales of the Supernatural is a short story collection that really piqued my curiosity. It's a short story collection that has to do with esotericism, the occult, and um, things of the supernatural alike, which really really piqued my curiosity and I thought immediately, well, I definitely want to give this a read and give it a review because if it turns out to be really good, then I want more people to give um, this author's book a read. So yeah. Lastly, in terms of the horror genre, I really want to give The Fisherman a read by um, John Langan. And um, this is a very classic cosmic horror type of book from what I heard. So I'm really curious as cosmic horror is one of those genres which I found out to be surprisingly intriguing. It's one of the re main reasons why I have an HP Lovecraft um, um, short story collection book as well but i haven't put that into my tbr as with that hp lovecraft um collection book it's very dense and i don't think i will be able to get through the entire thing in just one year but i really do want to sip it go through it slowly and enjoy it but for the reason that i really tend to enjoy cosmic horror i put the fisherman in here as well so that's it in terms of my horror books. Now, besides the horror genre, I have three books that I want to read that, um, that are also fictional um, books, so fictional novels, but that I'm quite intrigued on reading, and they are not of the same genre, so I'm just going to go through them one by one. One of them is the first Dune book by Frank Hubbard, and this is a classic um, piece of sci-fi. I think a lot of the sci-fi novels have been inspired by Dune, and the cover alone is just really pretty and beautiful. So I really want to get through this as I still haven't even seen the live action movie yet as this is one of those cases where I really want to read the book before I'm watching the movie. 
as I heard that that movie is going to be separated into two parts as this book is very clearly quite dense. Um, so I want to get through the book first so in order to get that visualization of the character, the world, etc. before diving into the movie's interpretation of all of those things. So Dune by Frank Herbert. I'm really looking forward to reading this one. Next up on my list is another popular, very popular um, YA fantasy type of book, and that is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone by J.K. Rowling. And I really wanted to read and dive into the Harry Potter series for a long time already, and I haven't gotten around to doing so, but right now I decided it's the time. I really want to jump into it as I want to diversify like the books that I review on the channel and also the books that I read. I want to expose myself to more pieces of literature. Um, so I thought what better way would be to do so than to actually dive into the Harry Potter books because I've seen all of the movies well I haven't seen the the fantastical beast type of I'm um, the fantastical beast movies but I have seen all of the Harry Potter movies and I really really enjoy them they're some of my childhood guilty pleasures so I think that the book might be able to provide just that as well for me like I kind of rekindle my nostalgia so I'm really looking forward to reading the book and it's my current read by the way so I'm currently reading Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone so so um, do not be surprised if a review pops up for this book very, very soon. Um, so yeah, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. And lastly, in terms of fiction on my TBR list, is a book that is not a fantasy or sci-fi type of book. And it's more of a contemplative, psychological slash crime type of book and that is Crime and Punishment by Dostoevsky. Um, I picked this book up as I for a long time wa wanted to get into Russian literature and I know um, of just two um, very well-known Russian authors that is Dostoevsky and Tolstoy. Um, I don't know if I pronounced that name right but basically I heard that this is a book about someone that commits a murder and then tries to avoid the authorities and he slowly he thinks that at first that he's beyond like moral um, dilemma and moral contemplations, but his conscience slowly starts to grow on him and he realizes that, oh, what he's done, like he actually feels guilty about it. Um, and the author really dives into the psyche of the criminal, allegedly from what I heard. So I'm, I'm not familiar at all with Dostoevsky's writing style, but I heard that that is a trademark of his writing. So I'm really looking forward to diving into this as it's going to be the most different from everything I've read so far. So I might either really enjoy it, enjoy it, or maybe it's not my cup of tea at all. So we shall see. But I'm really looking forward to Crime and Punishment by Dostoevsky. So that's it for my fiction read. So those are already six books on my TBR for this year. And I know some people have like 50 books or something on their TBR. I'm starting slow. I don't think I'm going to pull off like 20 books in one month or something as I simply don't have that amount of time. But I do hope to get most of these books done by the year's end. And if not, then they'll just see like slowly sip into 2023, which is no problem for me as I simply want to read like that's already for me a big thing to read and finish these books but the tbr is not done there's one more book on my tbr list and that is a non-fiction popular science type of book and that is the book hicks by jim baggett i don't know if i pronounced that name right but this is a book about the Higgs particle, the particle which um, was announced in 2015 that was discovered in the CERN particle accelerator. And it was a big breakthrough. And the reason why I want to read this book is not just because I'm interested in particle physics, but also because this book not only tackles the theoretical aspects of um, the Higgs boson, but it also shows the actual experimental side of things. Like it shows the steps behind how they went from having this very abstract theory being tested for in, the, in a big experiment and how these various collaborations came together to actually form this groundbreaking news. And it kind of demystifies like the whole like weird abstract particle physics side of things. So I'm really looking forward to this. I will see it as either me being quite fascinated by particle physics or thinking that, oh, this is fascinating, but probably not something that I would be interested in pursuing later, perhaps. So I'm really looking forward to reading Hicks and I'm currently reading it as well because it's a very easy read for me. Like it's a very, like something that I can go through every evening and so. So 
Yeah, so Hicks by Jim Beckett and Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stones by J.K. Rowling are two books that I'm currently reading and looking very much forward to to finish reading and give you guys a review on. Now, there's something that I want to announce besides my TBR books and it's something that's a bit more um, out of the ordinary for this channel, but I did really want to give it a shot and see how it goes. And that is, I wanted to create a short um, playlist of videos um, on me um, going through physics topics um, very rigorously. Um, the reason um, why I'm doing so is because I want to experiment with creating like science and math content on this channel and seeing how my viewers kind of respond, react to it and what the viewership will be and whether or not it's beneficial to continue heading in that direction or maybe just stick with the bookish content. And the manner at which I'm planning on doing this is by actually teaching myself a particular aspect of physics and then creating videos on it for YouTube. I'm going to be using the book called Covariant Physics by Motas Eman. I think I think I probably mispronounced the name, but um, the book is basically about the prerequisites that you need to start understanding things like special and general relativity and in essence it's about the formulation it's about knowing think in terms of reference frames and in terms of um, linear transformations and things like that that really come into play when trying to um, gain knowledge of the mathematical formulation that you need in order to dive into something like special and general relativity. So I'm going to mainly go into the first four chapters of this book, which go into coordinate coordinate systems, and that is basically diving into spherical coordinates, hyperbolic coordinates, um, to dive also into a little bit of vectors um, and things like that. Um, the second chapter is more about tensors, so starting to learn about tensors, about um, calculating Christoffel symbols and stuff like that as well. Um, all of that sounds like jargon, but if you're here for the physics content, I think you might at least have heard some of those um, names before. Um, the third chapter is more about classical mechanics and how you can apply this mathematical formalism into classical mechanics, since this whole talk of reference frames and such isn't something new to special relativity, but it has been discussed previously already by the likes of Galileo Galilei. Um, and lastly, chapter four is about special relativity. So the more interesting and relativistic side of physics. So think about Minkowski diagrams, so CT and X diagrams, um, talking about um, time dilation and length contraction and um, X vectors or X4 vectors and such. So I'm going to be very, very curious to dive into those things. And the idea for this is to dive into those things um, during the summer holidays. So you can expect the videos to start coming around in about um, July, either mid or end July up to August, um, the end of August or the beginning of September, basically. So that is the idea in terms of the um, physics playlist. I think I'm going to be calling the videos at least um, Journey to Relativity, as the main goal is to start building up the mathematical chops um, to start to be able to actually understand and start diving into general relativity, as that is my main goal. And for me, this is very new as well. Like I haven't done this before. I have some of the necessary prerequisites for this. And um, when going through this playlist, I'm not going to go through the prerequisites that are needed for this playlist. So if you're watching those videos, I expect you to have some understanding of these already, but I have some prerequisites of linear algebra, of calculus or calc one and calc two. So basically differentiating limits, sequence necessaries, and um, integration, various integration techniques. But I do not have a background in multivariable calculus, but I hope to learn as at least the bare minimum that I need for multivariable in order to understand this book um, throughout the journey. So we will dive into some multivariable and some like examples and some concepts of multivariable as that it will be both of benefit to me and to you watching. So in essence, the whole, um, the whole journey to relativity series is going to be a series of videos explaining the concepts needed to understand um, special and general relativity. And it's a bit like a Feynman method type of video where I go through the, um, I go through the material digest it, explain it in the hopes to understand it better myself. So I hope you are looking forward to that and also of course my TBR for um, my mid 2022, it might even go out to 2023 TBR. Um, and I hope to see you guys again very very soon with some new book reviews. So stay tuned and hope to see you guys soon. Bye!